We buy our children way too much stuff, don't we? My nephews, this is what they wanted. Eight, nine years old, this is what they want for, for Christmas. An iPad. I'll get you a notepad. You want a notepad? You better get an eye job with some eye cash if you want an iPad, because you're not messing up eye credit score. Do you know how much money is? That, that's like if we were kids asking for 300 bicycles or something like that. I'll get you the original iPad. It's called the Etch-a-Sketch. You can have that. Oh, where are all the apps? <laughs> right here. Now, why don't you stand outside under that tree, get some angry birds on there. There you go. We had good toys when we were kids. We had toys that would kill you. <laughs> we had light bright in the bathtub. <laughs> easy bake oven. My sister tried to kill me with the easy bake oven. She would run out of mix and then make something up out of her head, like she's Martha Stewart or something. <laughs> Eat it, it's a cake. That's a cat turd, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I fell for it once, I'm not gonna fall for it again. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? <laughs> I, oh, every toy that they came out with would kill you. We, uh, what was that one toy? Oh, jarts, remember jarts? L lawn darts, did you ever have that? Darts this big, they were darts. They were so dangerous, they banned them. You can't get a lawn dart today. You can get an assault weapon. <laughs> but you cannot get a lawn dart. And I remember playing with my friends. You go stand down there. Stand in the ring. That's what it was like. It was like horseshoes with darts. Ball, that would teach you how to take a sucker punch. That was a good toy. <laughs> when we were kids, nothing was safe. I'm serious. I mean, remember the playgrounds? <laughs> right? I mean, now they're all like Chuck E. Cheese, it's little plastic balls and foam for the to fall on. What a bunch of wussies. <laughs> we had blacktop. And you'd look down and you'd see the skin from other kids laying on top of the blacktop. The swing, I mean, we, we tried to kill each other on the swing. I would push my best friend Keith on the swing as hard as I could to see if he would go over the top of the bar. I actually thought that could happen. And he would yell at me, higher! And I'd yell at him, jump! <laughs> jump off, see what happens! And my dad would never anchor the swing set properly. So the whole swing set would start rocking back and forth and the legs would pull up out of the ground and then it would flip upside down and we'd fall on our backs and we'd be crying and our parents would be in the house laughing. <laughs> because they wanted us dead too. It was a wonderful time. 
I had the pleasure of growing up in America before the lawyers took it over and ruined it on us. And yeah. In my day, if a kid fell off the monkey bars and chipped a bone in his arm, that was tragic, but it was funny to the rest of us. You know? <laughs> Certainly wasn't reasons to take the monkey bars off the playgrounds. We all did dumb things. That's how you learn not to do dumb things. <laughs> C.S. Lewis said suffering was God's megaphone. That's right, you do dumb things, it hurts, and then you learn not to do it. But we're the most painted verses. I, and we, I'll give you an example. When I was 12, someone told me to get a ball jar, a canning jar, find some dry ice, put it in the jar, put the lid on it. So I said, what's gonna happen? They said, it's gonna blow up. And I said, cool. <laughs> Where do I get dry ice at? And they said, the ice cream man. So one day I heard the ice cream man coming down my street. I run out with one of my mother's canning jars and I ask, you got any dry ice? He said, what you gonna do with it? I said, I'm gonna put it in this jar. I'm gonna put the lid on it and it's gonna explode. Ice cream man says, oh, here's your dry ice. <laughs> That's the America I grew up in. Yeah. Yes. And of course, that night, my mother was at our kitchen table picking shards of glass out of my forehead. <laughs> and my father came walking in. How'd that happen? Someone told me you put dry ice in a ball jar, it'll, it'll, it'll blow up. <laughs> so knowing that, you were just staring at that jar, waiting for it to blow right up in your face. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what am I raising, a moron? I could see why you'd think that. I never did it again, because that had been really dumb. That's how you learn. <laughs> my nephew's coming by. This poor kid's 11 years old. I look at him, where's he going? My sister said rollerblading. I thought he was gonna disarm a nuclear device. <laughs> poor kid looked like the Michelin man. <laughs> Foam, rubber, plastic everywhere. She says, I don't want him to get hurt. I said, hurt, he could take a semi at 80 miles an hour in that outfit. <laughs> Falling on concrete is supposed to hurt. See, that's your incentive to learn to stay upright on the rollerblades. They've ruined everything. Playgrounds. I took my granddaughter to a playground. What happened to playgrounds? The slide is five feet high, made out of plastic. She would go four inches and stop, four inches and stop, four inches and stop. That's not a slide, it's a scoot. <laughs> wee papa, wee papa, wee papa, wee papa. What did we have? We had a six-story high solid steel structure. <laughs> About mid-July. Mid-July, we hit a temperature of about 285 degrees. You lose two layers of skin on the way down. Another layer when you hit the ground like a flat rock on a pond. <laughs> Come back picking gravel out of your thighs. Yeah! Now it's wee papa, wee papa, wee papa. I wanted to shove her down the slide. I did, I wanted to shove her so she'd know what an exhilarating feeling of sliding. And I felt six iPhones on my back. Go ahead, old man. We dare you. It's nuts. Car seats, I'm not against car seats. I'm just telling you, I'm tired of strapping my granddaughter in like a NASCAR driver to drive two miles to get a Diet Coke from the Mini Mart. She's 54 pounds. I'm gonna get a hernia hauling her in and out of the state. What age can you take them out now? Five, seven, 18, here's your high school diploma. You get to ride home like a big boy today. I mean, come on. Car seat, we didn't even have seat belts. I walked the back seat of my mother's car for four years. She'd be driving, I'd just be walking the back seat side to side. Sure, every now and then she'd hit the brakes, I'd fly up into the front. She'd toss me back like a trout. What are you doing up here? Get back there. I got pulled over by the police. I'm not making this up. I got pulled over by the police because it was sunny day and my granddaughter was in the back seat with sunshine through the window and the policeman said, I'm not gonna write you up this time, but you need to have a sunshade to protect her from the sun. I go, what? Are you kidding? I, mean, I almost got arrested. I said, are you you're kidding me? This is a joke, right? When did the sunshine become this evil thing? Sun, we didn't have sunscreen. You know what sunscreen was when I was a kid? Dirt, that's what it was, dirt. <laughs> And why? Because we would eat dirt and it would get all over our face and protect us from the sun. And then we'd wash it down with water from a garden hose. And then I'd take a bath, put on my asbestos pajamas and go to bed. And look how I turned out. This world's in trouble. We all got to bond together. These kids are wild now. They don't know discipline. 
No, they have no discipline. I'm sorry, these kids, they're out of control. They're wild, they're brats. You ever go to Walmart? You wanna smack a kid? <laughs> Some of you are like, I have. <laughs> it's all right, I know you're nice people. It's not violence. You want to shake them or something. These wealthy moms don't do anything. You ever see those stupid faces? That's not discipline. Uh Hey, that is a fire in a store, young man. Hey. Chance. Chance, he's named after a possibility. They need my mom like my mom back in the day. Any psycho moms here? Clap if you're kind of a mom. Are your mom a little strict? Yeah. My mother was half Italian, half psycho lady. You said the wrong thing. She beat the heck out of you with the most dangerous motherly weapon ever invented, wooden spoon. She just nodded you. Darn right. Moms are like ninjas with spoon. You didn't even see yourself get hit. I love my mom, but she was fast. You're bleeding, you don't know why. My mom could beat my butt and make dinner at the same time. She'd be on the phone, Marge. Hang on one sec. I can't hear a darn thing. Stop it. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Me and my sister cover with sauce. What the heck happened? I don't know, there's spaghetti on my head. Remember how dramatic you were when you pouted? We all did it, didn't we? You have kids that did it? Remember how dramatic your mom would be like on the phone? Get over there. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> didn't even do anything. I didn't even do anything. Go to your room, please. Remember stalling? <laughs> I forget where it is. <laughs> up the stairs, mister. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Get up the stairs. I broke my leg. <laughs> On what? The outlet. Get up the stairs. I'll do my best. Kids will test you, won't they? <laughs> Don't lean on the pillar, please. <laughs> what did I just say? I, I slipped. <laughs> the window's open, it's windy out. Can it be windy sometimes? Mom, can it be windy sometimes? It slipped. Well, don't touch the mic stand either. It belongs to the club. What did I just, I'm just pretending I am. Can a guy pretend sometimes? Can I, mom? Sometimes you didn't test mom's patience. I love my mom to death, she's my best friend now, but she was a strict woman. You ever get those big eyes, you know you're in deep trouble? Supermarket, five years old, put it back. And how do moms do this? My mom could be mad at me, then turn fake happy when she saw one of her girlfriends in the store. They go right back to being mad at me. Remember that? It's like, I said, stop it right now. We're not buying that. I said, hi, Helen, how are you? <laughs> yes, I'll see you at the recital. Okay. Put it back, you son of a bee. <laughs> we have it at home. We don't have. We don't have this at home. These are Fruit Loops. We got Fruit Rounds. <laughs> rounds, remember the generic version? The poor version of what you wanted? My mom didn't get me Honey Nut Cheerios. I got, oh heck no's. <laughs> mom, what is this? Cheaper, put it in the cart. That comes in a box. It's like a 10 pound bag of kitty litter. <laughs> it's all expired, I don't want it. Toy surprise is a piece of glass. <laughs> I don't want it, Mom. Walk normal, please. We are in a store. 
That's not my new walk. <laughs> Mind your business. You ever go too far? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you just say? I said. You ever make anything? <laughs> hello. <laughs> just say hello. Push the cart, please. I'll just get a new family, I don't care. I'm sorry? Hello. Just say hello. Kids got too much of their Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Xbox, Dreamcast, Game Boy, GameCube, Wii, Switch. It's the new one. How old are you over there with the glasses? Uh, 16. 16. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Who you here with, 16? Uh, Your mom and dad? Ain't that sad? <laughs> mom and dad wanted to have a Saturday night and they had to bring you along. Ain't that sad? <laughs> you guys got children? Did you bring them? No. You guys got children? Did you bring them? No. Children? Bring them? No. You getting that? See what I'm getting at, mom and dad? See what I'm Don't bring anything to the club you don't really need. <laughs> 16. What gaming system you got at home, 16? Uh, Xbox One. Xbox One. What well, you got, 17? Nintendo Switch, because we're rich. <laughs> we didn't have all them high-tech toys when we were kids. Most high tech toy we had was Etch a Sketch. <laughs> oh, said you play with that game for hours. Hey, what are you making? Stairs. <laughs> oh man, I messed up. Hit the delete button. <laughs> My sister had a toy called a Susie Homemaker Easy Bake Oven. That act cooked by light bulb. Cook a cake that big with a light bulb. That was high tech. Had two little kids on the box staring into the oven and right above their heads it said, watch a cake bake right before your eyes. Yeah, you know why Johnny couldn't read? Cause Johnny burnt his retinas out watching that cake bake. <laughs> we had simple toys. Had to use a little, a little imagination with our toys. We had Play-Doh. Ain't nothing more simple than a can of Play-Doh. Pop up with a fresh can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everybody over 40 knows what a can of Play-Doh tastes like, too. Everybody, everything about our generation was better. We had better candy back in the day. We had that fashion candy necklace. Remember that little bees on the street eat some? Snap it out. Give your friend some, let him lick on it. Snap it back. <laughs> Nick would be all wet from spitting saliva on him. <laughs> but that little wax bottle with the juice in it. Remember that? Had like that much juice. Oh, <laughs> well, that's refreshing. Mm. <laughs> Looking cool walking down the street with your candy cigarette. <sighs> You ever have a Red Bull 17, huh? Yeah. We didn't need Red Bull back in our day. We had pixie sticks. <laughs> Big straw full of sugar. Oh, man. I once ran from New York to Connecticut in six minutes. <laughs> good one. We had great, Oh, remember this one? Remember those big red wax lips? Remember that one? Yeah. That wasn't a big seller in my neighborhood, but... Uh, <laughs> Knock yourselves out on that one. <laughs> I feel sorry for these kids today. Nothing's exciting. We had television. Television was exciting when we were kids, man. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday you watch the, the Walt Disney. Everything was exciting. They got too many channels. Hulu and Netflix and YouTube and cable. You know, they got like 5,000. We had seven channels. I had seven channels as a kid. Seven. But there was always something good on. 
Like we had a show where a dog could talk to humans. Lassie. <laughs> Jimmy's in the barn. And the barn's on fire. <laughs> About a year after that show, they doubled down on us and gave us a, a dolphin that could talk to humans. <laughs> Flipper. <laughs> Jimmy's in the barn. I don't know when these kids got so weak. Uh, I, I can't eat white bread because white bread has a gluten in it. Uh, I get a gluten in me. Uh, we grew up on the whitest of white bread of all time. Wonder bread. That was like biting into a cloud, it was so white. Help build a strong body 12 ways. 12 ways. I know a body could move 12 ways, but Wonder Bread would do that for you. <laughs> you know what my favorite sandwich was when I was a kid? Spaghetti and meatball on Wonder Bread. <laughs> That's enough gluten to kill four kids today. <laughs> I don't blame, I don't blame these kids though. I don't, you know? Every commercial they see is a drug commercial. Is Xenotex right for you? Ask your doctor, do you need Xenotex? Xenotex may cause baldness, <laughs> blindness, loss of appetite, tooth decay, anal leakage. <laughs> Man, that is a lot to cure a runny nose, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> we had drug commercials back in the day, but they weren't trying to kill us. Watch this, 17. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, <laughs> Relief. No leaks. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, why are they so lazy? This is video games. They can't run, can't jump. They do this all day. I'll give you a perfect example of how lazy kids are today. Back in our day, we had a lollipop called the Charms Lollipop. It was like that big, that thick. You'd lick that lollipop, man. It was good. Lick that lollipop for about four days, and your mouth would turn red and green and orange. Man, that was a good lollipop. Here's how lazy they are today. They lick a lollipop now. There's a battery in the handle, <laughs> and the lollipop spins around. <laughs> how lazy can you be? <laughs> uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I think we were the last generation to go outside and play. Everything we did was outside. You ran around the street until the street light came on, and that was a signal for everybody to go in the house. Every game we played was a running game. Hide and go seek was a running game. Tag was a running game. Some days you step out the house, you in the middle of a game, you didn't even know you was playing. <laughs> You ever played cootie stick, 17? Never? Somebody would grab a stick like this and they would rub it around in a little dog crap like that. <laughs> and they'd chase you all over the neighborhood with that thing. <laughs> you step out the house, somebody would yell, cootie stick, cootie stick! Ah! what we did. That's how we were. We ran. We ran in every game we played, running game. RCK, you ever play RCK 17? Ever play that game? Girls run and you chase them. If you could catch one, you could kiss her. That's right. RCK, run, catch, and kiss. Yeah. You know what you learn as a kid playing that game? The cute girls are really, really fast. <laughs> Because all the ugly girls run down the street. Oh, I fell. Oh. <laughs> I always fall in this game. You just run up on them. Oh, excuse me. Gotta go. 